The infernal fire is also a form of energy life form. The image. The way is awash with flames. See? It's still. Good crowd today. Let's rock. Let's make it quick. Yeah. Hope you're prepared. In the name of land, a will forged in ice never falters. for the main event. <laughs> Let's go. This ends here. Is that all? Make it quick. Yeah. Is that all? I'm asking questions. Answer me. <laughs> Time for the main event. We caught them unawares. I'm with you. Ah, 
the banal theatrics of stalling. Let's not. Shall we? No. The measure of truth and falsehood. Ready to lose your You can fight it or rock with it. Freedom. Rules are made to be broken. Zero points. Test. Fail. <laughs> Time for the main event. Turn it up. Let's go. Name of Let a will forged in ice never falters. I'm asking questions. Answer me. The song's for you. Let's rock. S.A.S. Pekipi. Knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. In the name of land, a will forged in ice never falters! <laughs> Zero points. That's it? Ready to lose your... You can fight it or rock with it! Fail! This ends here! I'm asking... Pretty good cuts, rock. Let's make it quick. Yeah! Your answers? Answer me! The song's for you! Turn it up! Hope you're prepared! I'm asking questions. In the name of land, a will forged in ice never falters. Test. Let's go. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Is that all? You're up. <laughs> this song's for you. Let's rock. <laughs> Make it quick. Yeah. So this is the extent of Miss Green's materializing from the inferno. Seems like Dr. Primitive wasn't wrong. Good defense. Rules are made to be broken. The fire is weakening. It's preparing to flee. You, keep your eye out for Lady Aster's whereabouts. Pretty good crowd today. Turn it up! Freedom! Not bad. Let's go. Yeah! This ends here. Secret of a safe. Name of land. A will forged in ice. Never falters! 
your answers? Ready to lose your- You can fight it, or rock with it! <laughs> Let's make it quick. <laughs> Hope you're prepared! are made to be broken. I'm asking questions. Answer me. SAS per kip. Knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. <laughs> Time for the main event. Let's rock. Fail. Let's go. At all. In the name of lead, a will forged in ice never falters. Your answers? <laughs> Zero points. A miracle. This ends here. I'm asking quick. Test. Free. Let's rock. Ready to lose your You can fight it. Or rock with it. Yeah. Merciful Medicus. You're prepared. This song's for you. <laughs> Let's make it quick. Yeah. Rules are made to be broken. Sasp knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. <laughs> Time for the main event. Let's rock. Fail. In the name of land, a will forged in ice never falters. Turn it up! Sacred of the Saints! Just a scratch! This ends here. Let's go! Yeah! I'm asking questions. Pretty good crowd today. <laughs> Ready to lose your You can fight it or rock with it. Just a scratch. <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. Hope you're prepared. Name of lead, a will forged in ice, never falters. Your answers? A test. Zero points. Keep up.
Good work. You did very well. Rest assured, Asta only had a fright. She is recovering in the clinic. While you were chasing the enemy, the security department also found the missing researchers. Affirmation, they are all safe and sound. It was all thanks to Adler. They fell into a spatial curio and could not leave until the Department of Ecology's most knowledgeable curio expert solved it from within. Many of them were shaken by their experience when Arlen found them, but they are otherwise fine. Yes, it is over. This business is over, and I believe the space station will be able to deal with any internal aftershocks. In Herta's stead, I thank you for your efforts, madam. But there is one mystery that remains unsolved. <laughs> And that is something I must deal with myself. I've been waiting. Fallout from this incident remains. Surely you have plenty of pressing matters to attend to. Or is the safety of the space station beneath your concern? Answer. That is exactly why I came. After all, the principal figure in this whole affair is right here. <laughs> When did you start to doubt me? When one is immersed in academic research, skepticism comes far more naturally than belief. I've had the same bad habit as you since the beginning, Mr. Ratio. I must say, I'm quite honored, Mr. Scrulum. But do explain, why opt for silent wisdom when you already had the pieces of the puzzle? For curiosity's sake, Affirmation, I made the same decision as you, to accompany and observe. Oh, and when did you become convinced? Objectively speaking, aside from some minor spiritual trauma, no researchers were hurt in this attack, which never aligned with the Annihilation Gang's modus operandi. Logic, a third party saved them. Had I not fortuitously acquired a spark of the phase flame and intervened in Duke Inferno's teleportation, those people would already be space waste, floating past the windows here. You are more candid than I calculated. But still behaving within your calculations, no? One last question, Scrulum. Genius though you are, can you deduce why I did this? I cannot be sure and can only hypothesize. Helping the weak hints at the merciful instinct of a medical doctor, but maintaining a cool, detached observation reveals the strictness of a scholar, and pulling the strings from behind the curtain is akin to laying down the gauntlet to a genius. The ruler of planet Scrulum is indeed well-versed in the human mind. It's a pity you're as much in the ivory tower as other geniuses. You still got one thing wrong. 
To stand aside and observe is the best treatment one can give. There is a disease called foolishness that is harder to cure than any ailment. The path of erudition has neither reason nor logic. While geniuses wander among the stars, the ordinary can't even trace their footsteps. Those less gifted have no choice but to walk alone, enduring a lifetime of tumbles and triumphs. But even a life marked by failure is a life worth living. It is only in moments of solitude and despair, when help is absent, that fools grasp how to pick themselves up. I have a fastidious nature. I cannot stand fools, idiots, or imbeciles. Seeing them fills me with dread. Regrettably, this space station is just like the Intelligentsia Guild, devoid of geniuses and filled with mediocrity. You wish to uproot the researcher's blind worship of geniuses. I am only laying out my questions. As for the answers, they'll find them themselves. Pursuit tinged with negativity is still pursuit, and it is capable of leading us to the right conclusion. For the masses of the mediocre to reach a level of awareness, this is a necessary rite of passage. You are indeed more like a medical doctor than a scholar. As for the spark I leave behind, I believe Asta will deal with it properly. It is also a lesson I left for her. With that, I take my leave. I look forward to future encounters with such brilliant minds. Let's hope they're as memorable as those we had today. Hmm. A farce full of trivial concerns. Ultimately, they're just... Mediocre minds.